What's up guys? I have got a tour of an incredible boat for you today. Now unfortunately, Randy and the baby could not join me for this one, but I do hope the awesomeness of this Sun Deer 64 will make up for that. Also, whether it's your first video or your fifth video, if you enjoy our videos, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Both of those help us out a lot, so thank you in advance, and without further ado, let's get to the tour. Alrighty guys, I am excited to take a look at this boat. I can already tell I am going to like it just looking at the deck and looking at the exterior lines. It is a very pretty boat and it is also very practically laid out from what I can tell. Let's go ahead and step aboard. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the cockpit and the helm stations when we come back. We're going to go forward first. To my left, you guys can see that we have a hard dodger slash kind of like a pilot house. It is an awesome space, but we're going to get back to that. On top of that pilot house, on top of the coach roof right there, we do have a handhold nice and high. We also have some hatches as well as what looks kind of like a companionway hatch. Nice wide side decks going forward. They are at a good angle so that water will run off of them pretty easily. Again, good handholds up here on the foredeck. Lots of ventilation, lots of dorades. Just here in this midsection, I'm counting eight, and I know there's more forward and aft of this. We've got big opening hatches and this is a nice safe area you know to do some sailing walking forward a little bit we've got our main mast right here double spreader main mast this is a cutter rigged catch so there's going to be a mizzen mast as well as a head sail and a staysail. Got granny bars right there and next to the main mast. More dorades forward of the eight dorades that were in the middle area of the foredeck. Got a nice large opening hatch that opens to a giant bow locker, sail locker, storage area. It's huge. And then we've got our anchor windlass right here. To port, you guys can see there is a retractable bow sprit that extends about eight feet off the bow. We've got a hydraulic furling head sail, an oversized Bruce anchor. Looking aft, there is that bow sprit again. You guys can see the inner forestay right there. That's where your staysail is going to attach to. And just looking aft on this boat, it is a pretty boat and the deck is very well laid out and practically laid out. Walking aft, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that sail locker right here. And this is the sail locker. So as you guys can see, this is a huge space. Got everything you can imagine down here. You can store anything you want. We 
There's the emergency tiller. And coming out. Going aft. Again, I just I do really like the look of that pilot house. We've got a hydraulic mainsail boom vang. More handholds, granny bars. Lots of places to connect jack lines for your harness. We've got our main cell there with lazy jacks. We've got a running backstay as well as all of these flags are countries that this boat has been to. Going aft. Got our main sheet right there, right before the pilot house. So many door aids on this boat. Just tons of good ventilation. Looking at the mizzen mast now. Another hydraulic boom vang, lazy jacks, double spreader mizzen, radar on the mizzen. And then we are going back to the aft of the boat where the helm stations are. So back here we've got dual helms. So you can sail the boat from either side. We've got some storage compartments. This is the port side here. This is just some shallow storage. And then this is the starboard side. This is where the generator is. This is an equipment room. And then we have a swim platform off the back with a freshwater wash down shower. Looking forward at the helm stations. Nice place to file the boat from, good visibility. I do have to say that in fair weather that this is an awesome position to steer the boat from. I mean this would be this would be a lot of fun. I like it. You've got great sight lines and it'd just be a great position to sail from. The cool thing about this boat is you have these aft helms where you can, you know, feel the wind in your air, the sun on your face. But when it gets to be too much and the weather becomes too much, you have a pilot house as well to get out of the weather. And going forward, we're going to check out the cockpit now. Both the settees and the cockpit do open. We're going to go down there and show you what's down there in a little bit. There's our chart plotter, wind instruments under the mizzen right here. Going down to the port side lazarette, you can see we have another equipment room. And the diesel engine is right there. As well as anything else that's, you know, equipment related. And then this is the starboard side. So you have really good engine access. Really good access to any of the equipment. For the sake of redundancy, there are two complete systems for air conditioning and heat on this boat. And going forward. Got some more hatches right there. Those are going to be hatches down into the aft cabins. And going forward down into the pilot house. And this is the kind of companionway hatch. Not a true companionway, but it makes it so that you don't have to crouch too much to go down into this pilot house. I just want to point out that this pilot house is incredible, guys. I mean, fully protected, out of the sun, out of the wind, out of the weather. 
this is an amazing place to spend a passage. So you really have the best of both worlds with this boat. You know, in foul weather, you can be in this pilot house, be perfectly comfortable. And in nice weather, you can be back at the helms and enjoying the sun and the wind in the warm weather. So you can take this boat anywhere. And that's what it's designed for. So you can definitely tell. Taking a 360 of this pilot house area, this is definitely an awesome space. Got some more instruments up forward. The autopilot can be controlled from in this pilot house. Got hatches for ventilation. The aft section can be closed in really inclement weather. And some storage. both sides all right guys let's go down below coming down below it is quite clear that this boat is in really good shape definitely unique and a nice salon area nice big luxurious salon area just want to give you guys a 360 before we go into detail nav station and tons of area to sit in the main salon got storage under the settees here behind the settees is going to be the tankage more storage under the settee on the port side Lots of ventilation from the hatches, the durades, going forward. We've got our main cabin forward here. We've got a nice Pullman berth. You guys know how much I love Pullman berths. There's our main mast right there. And then on the starboard side, we've got tons of storage in this cabin. We've got a hanging locker towards the aft end. Opening that up. Lots of room for all your clothes. Forward of all that, we've got a vanity and a sink that is outside the head. I do like that setup. And then behind that sink, as you guys can see, we've got these cabinets that open up in this unique way. I really like that. You guys are going to see some more of these in the galley as well. And they're also mirrors. Really cool. Lots of natural light. Hull ports above that. Storage down below. The sink and the vanity. Going into the head. We've got a shower and a head and a washer dryer. Storage, more storage. Ventilation, going aft, under the berth, we've got four drawers, one of 
One thing I wanted to quickly say is I really like this forward cabin setup. I mean, I could really see staying aboard this boat for long periods of time and being very comfortable. I love that Pullman berth right there. I love this amount of hanging locker storage as well as storage right there underneath a large vanity. And I just, I love those cabinets that open up like that. It's really, really cool. And forward of all that is that ensuite head, which you guys just saw. So I just, I really like this setup up here. All right, going aft. And I think from this angle, you guys can really see how big this main saloon area is. And the galley and the nav station really just integrate into it in a very seamless way. It's very open. This is the nav station beautiful nav station forward facing got your main distribution panel down here again that style of cabinet that we saw in the forward cabin hiding away your documents Hiding away a printer. This is kind of the office on the boat right here. And looking forward, this is your view from this nav station. Again, I just want to give you guys a quick comment sitting at this nav station. I absolutely love this nav station. Forward facing, we have good view of most everything that's going on and I can control the whole boat from right here. The only thing I would probably add is a forward facing camera and a monitor just so that I can, you know, I do have the radar. I can see ahead of me with the radar and the GPS, but just to have that camera as well so you can see a, you know, physical representation of what's in front of you would be awesome. So, yeah, but that's the only thing I'd add. I mean, this is a great nav station. Looking aft. The Second head is behind the nav station, and as you can see, it's a walkthrough head. You can get to the starboard side aft cabin through that. And then we have the galley here on the port side. So we're going to go to the galley first. This is a beautiful galley, galley style galley. And I don't think I mentioned yet, but the wood in this boat is all in really good shape. We've got a freezer right here. Huge freezer. Nice big double sink. Those really cool cabinets again. Hiding away some small appliances. I just, I love these cabinets. all your plates, dishes, glasses, all hidden away by those cool looking cabinets. <laughs> Got some storage below the sink. Going aft. We've got a gimbaled range to our port side there. And then the fridge is going to be to my left, spinning forward. We've got a nice front open fridge. got a top section and then a bottom section right down there turn and aft this is going to be the port side aft cabin nice double berth got a hanging locker in the aft section Both these aft cabins have these mounting points where you can actually 
turn them into bunk beds as well. Got a drawer underneath the berth. Going into the starboard side aft cabin, it's got those mounting points again in this cabin. You've got drawers underneath the berth and looking aft. Lots of mirrors on this boat. Got a hanging locker. This aft cabin has a vanity with a sink as well. Forward of that, we've got our mizzen mast. And you got some storage down here as well as access to the bottom of the mizzen. And going forward, this is our second head. It is a wet head. Walk through with some storage. You can get to the nav station from here. Very nice. And looking forward here, we've got our nav station and our main saloon. Very beautiful boat. All right, guys, and now for the final continuous blow decks walk through from bow to stern. So starting in the forward section of the boat, we've got the forward head. Ensuite head in the forward cabin. Got a washer or dryer. Turning aft, so we've got our Pullman berth in the forward cabin. Our main mast. Nice big vanity with a sink. Lots of storage for this cabin. Walking aft. Coming upon our beautiful main saloon. Tons of space. We've got pilot berths on each side. Can set up some lee cloths and sleep there during a passage. Lots of places to sit. Can accommodate a lot of guests. Got our nav station to the left here on the starboard side. Companionway ladder. All of the wood in this boat is in beautiful shape. Got our galley. And as you can see, that style of cabinet that I really like gives you the space for those hull ports, which lets in a lot of natural light. We've got our port side aft cabin right here. Slightly smaller than the one on the starboard side, but still a very good size. Turning to starboard. We've got our fridge. And our starboard side aft cabin. at me because there's an abundance of mirrors in this boat so you've seen me a few times walking forward got our second head right here And walking forward again. 
We've got our nav station, and that will conclude this walkthrough. That's it, guys. Beautiful, beautiful boat. And practical. What can I say about this boat? I mean, it's truly incredible. This is a beautiful, beautiful 64-foot yacht that is just completely, practically laid out for blue water cruising. It's set up for a family or a group of people to sail the world in incredible comfort. And I think what I really love about this boat is it just seems so practical. Everything about it just seems like it was designed for a purpose. This boat performs very well under sail. It averages speeds in the double digits when it's cruising. This particular hull has already circumnavigated, crossed oceans multiple times. It's got all of the equipment that you could possibly need to sail the world with. The only thing that I would probably add would be a little bit of solar, but I mean, this boat is ready to go. I know I'm a fan of center cockpits, but I do really think that you get the best of both worlds with this design. You've got your aft cockpits, which are really fun to sail in good weather and you know when you're trying to go fast and you're trying to see your sails. It's gonna be more exhilarating sailing the boat back there, especially when you can choose which side you wanna be on with those twin helms. In foul weather, you can get out of the weather and go into that pilot house area. Now, you would have to rely on autopilot while you're in there, but you can always have an autopilot and then a backup autopilot for that autopilot. So, the only way that you'd have to be at those aft helms in foul weather is if those autopilots were to fail or they weren't working properly. The layout down below was just practical. Obviously, this boat is very long and it was using that to its advantage. You had huge engine rooms and equipment rooms in the aft section of the boat. You had a huge bow locker for your sails and all that up there. And then, you know, that central area, your living quarters was also very big and well laid out. Down below, it felt really open. So that main saloon area that went into the galley and the nav station, you know, it, it, there weren't any bulkheads really that was that were cutting that off, you know, it, it felt like, you know, as much as an open concept design as you possibly can have for that main saloon and galley area, it felt, you know, really big down below. And I did want to mention this boat has three main sections down below. So that forward compartment where the sails are, the sail locker and everything, that is a watertight section. And then the aft section, that equipment room, that is also watertight. So there's two main watertight bulkheads, three main watertight sections. You've got the living area, the equipment rooms in the aft, and then the sail locker in the forward section. So that's just a really nice safety feature in that design. There's so much good stuff about this boat. I could really go on and on. I do think the boat speaks for itself. I think, you know, just looking through the tour, you know, you can see the quality of the boat and you can see how well designed it is. But obviously, if you want more information, more in-depth information, that's going to be through a link in the description below, as well as the current asking price. I do think this boat is very reasonably priced right now and the broker contact information. All of that's going to be in the description, so be sure to check that out. And yeah, I think that's it. I really like this boat. I think it's going to be a really great boat for the next owner, and I think it's reasonably priced. So with that, if you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with